Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is the second video about uh, Geometry Notes and Blender. Today we are going to use some tips to scaling uh, points on curves in Geometry Notes to do lots of stuff and help you to solve some issues in your projects. Let's get started. I hope you watched the previous video about rotation and alignment tips on Geometry Notes in Blender. If you didn't watch it you can just click in the link in the description so you can follow all the three main video of this uh, mini series we are in blender 3.2.1 now i'm going to create a simple asset that can help us to uh, understand the scaling the rotation and the position of our points if you want to jump directly to the tips go to next chapter i create my absolutely fantastic axis uh, element and or asset I suggest you to create the same object and then uh, convert it uh, as an asset or an object uh, outside the blender so you can import it in uh, whatever project you want so I repeat uh, shift a mesh cube tab to enter in edit mode three face selection click shift click and click alt e not e to extrude individual faces press 10 tab to exit from edit mode material section new material x set a value of r1 g0 b0 roughness 1 add a new material select x duplicate it set y go to color r g plus another material select y make a new material duplicate it for the z axis set the color for the blue now tab to enter in edit mode shift z to see the back faces select these on the x axis select the x and assign select these y assign select these z assign shift z tab to exit from edit view and in upper side of the viewport select this button to see the preview material okay rename axis and to be information item information size 20 centimeter okay shift a to apply the scale remember that to apply to always apply scale now we can add a simple curve busier go to the geometry nodes uh, in the top portion of the viewports of the menu press plus general and geometry nodes click on the new button to create a new geometry nodes uh, select this button to show the preview material so I can resample curve and drag the resolution outside the geometry nodes and to view the information go to group section select the count and set resolution so now I can instance on points what my axis drag the axis into geometry nodes link the geometry to the instance and voila this is my instances uh, hide the axis we have to play with the scale of these nodes so I collapse this node and we have to manipulate this scaling so I increase the resolution select the bezier curve tab to uh, um, enter in edit mode select this control point G to move X in the X axis tab to exit from the edit mode select the bezier curve increase a little bit the resolution and this is our curve now tip you want to scale linearly from the start to the end point your instance how does you make it you can use the index so if I press shift control and click on this resample curve you can see in the spreadsheet the 29 control points okay this is the 29 30 control points one spline you can use this uh, free attribute radius it is uh, an attribute only for the control points not the vertices of a mesh okay the, the mesh doesn't have information about radius on points okay he has only information about uh, location orientation and scaling and maybe other 
stuff but it doesn't matter in this moment i can use the index attribute a free attribute that starts from zero to the counts minus one and we can use to scale Ta -da! this is too big you can add a math operation select the multiply and change the value as you want a little tip that i can suggest you is to use a math operation that divide this index with the count resolution with a math operation that subtract one because we have 30 points but the uh, the last has 29 okay value and not 30 i want to have 30 because 30 divided by 30 is one so i subtract one to the counts divide the index of each points by the count minus one because in this case i have this value only from zero to one okay i normalized this value okay i will always have a normalized value even if you increase or decrease this resolution now we can use this float curve, magical nodes that uh, um, start from 0 to 1 and we normalized all our values from 0 to 1, okay, to manipulate the shape of scaling on our curve, okay? So I can multiply a little bit, you can see this is a linear scaling, so I, if I press 1 to see the front view this is a linear increasing if i change this curve you can see you can manipulate as you want uh, the shape of your scaling this is fantastic this is very very powerful and now if you want to limit uh, this uh, scaling only for uh, one axis instead of all three axes you can simply use a combine xyz node link here and use for the axis uh, Z, for example, and set one for the other axis, and this is the result. You have the X and Y axis set to one, and the Z axis multiplied by this number that you can use to change the scaling as you want. This is the first tip. Second tip, alternate scaling so every x number of instances you want to scale a little bit the object so i can select my bezier my bezier curve duplicate shift d click to confirm the duplication i hide the tip one and this is the tip two hide the tip one and tip two okay against the uh, manipulate the scaling in this way i can use directly the index always normalized so you can increase or decrease uh, your number of instances on the curve without losing the correct scaling i delete this polo curve i cut this by pressing ctrl right button drag on the link to unlink and now i can use the math operation and you can use two type of rounding one is a, a model you can use this value and a model of uh, so if you have uh, from 0 to 1 okay you can use this with a 0 0.1 and use it to multiply this value and increase you can see a module so you can have a repeated ramp from 0 to 1 multiplied by your number adjusting a value this ramp and increase the resolution you can have this effect okay or you can use the snap the snap tool use this increments number so you can group value snapped by this this number so in this case i have this effect I can decrease a little bit the scaling and change the resolution as I want. So if you have the zero value, the first group will always has a zero value because the snapping rounds to the 
floor value before incrementing the value itself. If you want to have the first group based on the same increment, you have to add a math operation and add the increment value itself. So I can copy and paste this value and use a simply shifting by increments Okay, and you can have this particular effect. This is T2 and we can see Shift D in the Y axis and T3. So make it absolutely original. And this is the module, 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 module. So we can delete this and use this for the value of my increments. I can use this as I want. We can create another tip to have this particular effect. So make it original geometry notes, okay, and use the ping pong. This is perfect to have this effect. You can see that the maximum values change when you change the scale of this ping pong. The idea behind the ping pong is this. You have this line from 0 to 1. You set a point. It goes from this point to the start. It creates um, a sort of mirror, okay, in the point that you set. If I have a value from 0 to 1 and apply a ping pong under the one value, then you have to divide the value got by this ping pong number. So if I have one and then I multiply two, the result is two. But if I apply a 0 0.5 value, the result is 0 0.5 and multiplied by two is one, not two. So I have to maintain this final number. So to do this, I have to apply the ping pong and then I have to divide by itself to get the original number. So this transforms the graph in this one and zero. It normalizes the value from zero to one, always from zero to one. To do this, use a ping pong and then before multiplying by a value, divide the value by the same scale value of ping pong. I can decrease this multiplied number and if I increase or decrease the number of resolution the final number remains the same. You can apply this concept with the tip 3 so I can select the tip you have this module you can duplicate this divide by this number decrease this number and if I change the resolution the final number remains the same. This is the tip 4. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you like it. If you want to you can leave a comment, uh, give a like and subscribe to my channel to check out my other videos. See you soon!